Slack. Really? Uh, yeah. I wish I could say ChatGPT. No, but. it's okay. <laughs> Even more than like email? Way more than email. The only thing that I was thinking possibly was messages, but like iMessages, but yeah, more than that. Full points for honesty, Sam. When asked about which phone application Altman uses the most, he chose the business messaging platform Slack. Because you know, nobody will believe him if he said ChatGPT. The conversation was part of a podcast called Unconfuse Me, hosted by Bill Gates. Yes, even Bill Gates has a podcast. I don't even know why any of us are even trying. In this latest episode, the two gentlemen converse about AI, ChatGPT, and a lot about OpenAI. A millennial with a boomer kind of conversation? I'm just kidding. It wasn't that entertaining. Uh-oh, look who's late again. I was exactly on time. On time is five minutes late, honey. Okay. Uh, your generation, I'll tell you. Please don't. The recent OpenAI fiasco where Sam Altman was ousted as CEO did come up, but in an indirect way. When asked about how the team was doing, Altman was all praises, calling the team to be more productive and optimistic now. He called this as a real moment of growing up and that they're very motivated to become better and ready for challenges. <laughs> oh, don't cry, are you? Speaking about the growth and advancements of GPT models, Altman believes that in the next couple of years, a number of developments in multimodality and reasoning capability will happen. A GPT-5 perhaps? He also spoke about bringing customizability, say in terms of integrating your data, calendar, emails, appointment bookings and more can happen. Pretty much handing over everything you have to make it serve you better. Oh come on, Google knows way too much about us already, not another spy. No! Regulations were something that Altman and Gates extensively spoke about, with no surprises there too. He spoke about a regulatory body similar to the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, and the act of regulating models higher than a certain compute. This was the exact same narrative Altman followed right from the first AI Senate hearing of last year. Oh yes, they spoke about that too. If you recall, there was a massive AI Senate discussion that occurred behind closed doors in September last year. All tech honchos including Elon Musk, Sundar Pichai, Satya Nadella, Mark Zuckerberg, Jensen Huang and other biggies were part of it. Gates and Altman too. Apart from these AI Senate hearings giving me enough content to make reaction videos on, there has been absolutely no outcome from it. Get a lot of excitement that, hey, I'm good at working on malaria and malaria eradication and getting smart people and applying resources to that. Really, Bill? You want to open that bottle of mosquitoes here? Do we really want to discuss that here? Vaccines? I mean, really? I don't think so. I don't want to get into trouble. Of the many other things Gates and Altman discussed, an interesting observation of how the age bracket of tech innovators bringing revolutionary products into the world has significantly gone up. When Gates or Steve Jobs built their products, they were in their early 20s. Pretty much kids, as Gates mentioned. Whereas looking at OpenAI and other tech startups, a number of them are in their 30s or even 40s and above. Quite interesting. I, I, think, I think companies have gotten older in general, and I don't know quite what to make of that. I think it's like somehow a bad sign for society. But I track this at YC, and like the best founders have trended older over time. Yeah, that's fascinating. And, um, and then in our case, it's, it's a little bit older than the average even still. Way to go, Sam. All is not lost for me. Well, a signature element in Bill Gates' podcast series is asking his guests to bring their favorite vinyl record, which is kind of sweet. So I brought the, uh, the new Four Seasons uh, of Vivaldi Recomposed by Max Richter. I like music with no words for working. Um, and this it had like the old comfort of Vivaldi and like pieces I knew really well, but enough new notes that it was just totally different. Me too, Sam. I also like music without words. Just not the classy ones like you listen to. Mine's kind of questionable. But it's nice to have such segments on a show where tech biggies talk about music. You're convinced that these tech billionaires are just like us. They are not robots. And Trump, all use these increasing amounts of data to focus our activities. 
um, maybe not all tech billionaires. Well, thank you for watching my reaction video. I'm Mandana Nair from Analytics India magazine.